Hey guys, John here. Welcome to 5 Minute Presets. Today I feel like making something bluesy with pigment. So here we go. Let's start the clock here. File new preset. And this is what we have. So let's go from wavetable to sample. And on this E piano, I'm kind of feeling something like maybe. Yeah, something kind of like that. So we have a piano to work with. Increase our release a little bit. Increase the attack just slightly. Make the curve a little bit more round. Okay, so for the first thing here, let's kind of dial back the filter. For filter number two, I'm going to use a multi-mode as well, but instead change this to a high pass 12. And this is kind of like a band pass, but I kind of like doing this because you have a little bit more control. Okay. We're kind of getting somewhere, so let's go with an envelope and put it on the cutoff here. Maybe put this cutoff down over here and increase or decrease this a little bit. Give it some keyboard tracking. Okay, so that's the darkest our piano is going to be. So let's get a macro, put it here, and let's increase this macro just a little bit like that. Maybe reduce that. It's a little bit too bright for this kind of sound, something like that. Let's label this cutoff, like something like that. Okay, so engine number two, let's do the same thing as turn the sample on. And for this first one, we did C2. So let's do something a little bit different for this here. Let's go to C1, something like that. Let's get a little bit of low end in there. Okay, so now let's work on a little bit of effects here. So let's go to our effects section here. And actually for, for this first one, I kind of might want to change it to the MS-20. Sounds a little bit better here. Okay, so for, so for the first effect, let's go with a bit crusher here. Let's turn this dry wet up a little bit. Okay, so let's change the reverb to a distortion. Maybe hard clip or tape might be nice. It's a little too dark here, let's put it here. Okay, so now we have this kind of distortion here. Let's do some EQ here. Find that nastiness. Take that out and get the other EQ and kind of find a nice little spot for it. Okay, so now we need a little bit of delay here. So let's go to a delay. Maybe go a little faster. Okay, let's add a reverb, kaboom, something like that. Make the size a little bit bigger and a little bit more decay. Bring down the dry wet. Okay, so while we're doing this here, macro number four, let's go to the delay. Let's go to the reverb. So this is maybe 10%. So 0.1, one, that's fine. 25. Uh, yeah, I was already on there. 24 is fine. So we can also, we, I guess let's do this with the uh, bit crusher and the distortion here. So bit crusher is 21. Let's go 21. Distortion is 30. Let's go a little bit up to 30 and turn this on and label this FX here. So now we need a little bit of noise to kind of sell it a little bit more. So for this, let's turn noise one on, go to filter number two, because we're already cutting a lot of highs here, so we can just have it go to number two. Now it's kind of nice, let's bring this down just a little bit like that. Let's turn on analog noise as well, send that to filter two. Bring that way down. And maybe, you know what, let's put these all down and put this on a macro here. So maybe number two, instead of doing... Actually, we could do a little bit of resonance. So let's use number three for the noise here. So something like that. Okay, so noise, boom, and then res here. Got 19 seconds. Okay, that's says TRD. So let's go res like that. Number two, put it here. And then we don't need one for that. 
Let's bring up our noise volume a little bit here. Bring down our noise. All right, so time is up, so let's see how we got. So a bluesy kind of keyboard, right? A little noisy, so let's see what something like that sounds like. Also, let's bring up our volume here. I think we already did a little bit here. Something like that. Okay, let's see how this turned out here. It kind of reminds me a little bit of those uh, those kind of old, mysterious, I guess, criminal type of TV shows, right? Where it's like black and white, and they're like, the sheriff was looking for the uh, for the killer the whole time. But little did they know, he was the sheriff the whole time. Yeah, something like that. So anyway, if you want to have this bluesy keyboard, I guess bluesy keyboard sounds kind of cool. Okay, well, if you want bluesy keyboard, so you can click on the link in the video description below, and it can be yours. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.